Hello from Cheltenham Festival. I'm Jennifer Britt. I'm chair of the organising committee. If these were normal times, we would all now be rushed off our feet, making last minute preparations for this year's events. Uh, but of course, 2020 is uh, far from normal times. And we are so very, very sorry not to be bringing fabulous music to the heart of Chobham for the first time in, well, in nearly 30 years. I think though that the lack of a festival this year just brings home what a special part of village life it is, how much it is, is, is valued. And perhaps we will treasure next year's festival and, and festivals in years to come even more because of because of this year's experience. Uh, festival, Chopin Festival 2021 is all lined up. We have actually rebooked the, the events that we would have brought you this year for September and October 2021. So it is something to look forward to. And I look forward to seeing you all then. Well, hello, loyal supporters of the Chobham Festival. Uh, it's good to see you, as I say at every concert, but of course I can't see you because in these strange times uh, you're watching this video that we have made. It's really disappointing that we can't be together for the festival, but the decision that the committee took a few months ago to postpone this year's festival seems to have been the right one. Uh, I can't imagine us sitting in the beautiful church in St Lawrence or, or dancing in the village hall or being in any of the venues that we use with masks on, socially distanced, enjoying the fabulous music and the musicians, but uh, not really enjoying enough of us together. So that's what's happened. We're not going to have a festival this year, but the festival that we were going to bring you this year is going to be next year. And I know I'm really looking forward to it and the musicians are too. So a few words about musical life uh, during this pandemic. Uh, there's been lots of talk about the economy, lots of talk about uh, the tragic deaths, uh, but there are thousands of people who work in the entertainment industry, in theatres uh, and in concert halls uh, who have not been able to work and it's a real, real tragedy for them and for all of us that we can't go uh, and watch them uh, perform music. You'll have seen perhaps uh, the proms on the BBC uh, with, without an audience. Talking to some of the orchestra members there uh, who performed in, in recent weeks uh, at the Albert Hall, actually they were saying how life affirming it is just to be able to play uh, their instruments again, even without an audience, knowing that that's being broadcast uh, to hopefully a grateful nation. So the Vida de Guitar Quartet, uh, they are not working at the moment, uh, but they're busy getting some new repertoire up. Uh, there's plenty of clips that you can see uh, for them online and they're all booked in uh, to come and be with us uh, next September, October uh, and the Mozart flute and harp duo as well and with all the musicians uh, that normally come to the festival are all looking forward to seeing all of you as I hope you are in looking forward to seeing all of us this time next year. Meanwhile, please stay safe and let's fingers crossed that this dreadful pandemic will be over uh, as soon as possible and that we can all get back to more of a normal life. Thanks very much uh, for listening. Bye.